Good afternoon, my friends. Welcome to another segment of Hanging with the Boss Lady. I am your host, the Boss Lady herself, aka that little old country girl. How you doing today? I am again super excited to have you here with me today. As a matter of fact, I'm not even supposed to be recording today. I'm supposed to be recording for Friday, but I was so excited. I could not contain the message that I want to share to you today. So let's get started. Welcome. And I would like to start this episode off with a word of thank you to our Heavenly Father. Bow your heads with me, if you will. Dear Lord, thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy and your grace. Thank you for your protect and favor. Thank you for all of your blessings. Two words that say so much, but it's still just not enough. We just say thank you. Amen. How you feeling? How was your day? How was breakfast this morning? I hope that you didn't overeat, but I do hope that you got yourself the proper nutrition. And today is Sunday, so I hope that you went to the house of worship. If not, I hope you worshiped in place because it's not always all about where you go as long as you do, right? High five. (laughs) Okay, so now listen, I am so excited, my friend. I'm so excited because I have been getting so many responses to my call to friendship. For every one of you that is listening to this podcast now who has reached out to be a friend, thank you. I accept your invitation to be your friend, and I thank you for accepting mine. I'm honored to be your friend. For those of you that have sent friend requests on Facebook, I don't always answer friend requests, but I am still your friend. I thank you so much. You encourage me. You're making my heart go pitter-patter right now. I really appreciate it because it's the push that I need to keep going. And speaking of push, I have a word for the day. You ready for the word for the day that I would like to share with you? Here it is. Perseverance. The word for today is perseverance. That is what I wanted to share with you. And I couldn't hold it back. I feel like I'm about to bust at the seams. I'm so excited to share this with you. Let me tell you what the definition of that word is. Perseverance persistence in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. Persistence, persistence, that means don't stop, my friend, don't stop. Be persistent. And that's coming from someone who has had an extremely difficult week I'm going to tell you a little bit about the week I had. Getting this podcast together is one of the greatest things that I've done in quite a while. Now, mind you, I do a lot of things. I'm an author. I'm a singer. I'm a playwright. I'm an artist. I'm a stage. Uh, I'm a director for stage plays. I do a lot of things, but I've been kind of laid back recently for health issues, but I'm still, my mind is never still. So I wanted to be creative. I wanted to create something and the Lord put it on my heart to do this podcast. So as I thought about doing a podcast, I began to research it. Okay. Now, as I research, there are, I mean, literally thousands upon thousands of people who are content creators making podcasts and videoing. And it's just everywhere you look. So sometimes you can feel daunted. You feel like, how in the world can I compete with that? Friend, we're not competing. I am just sharing with you 
all the information that the Heavenly Father has instilled in me. That's what I'm doing. And I believe that's what everyone else is doing. And it may seem from the outside looking in that you have all these people competing against each other. It's just that there is so much good news to spread. And there are so many different types of people that so many different types of ideas come up. So everybody wants to share. And guess what, friend? There's room for you. Whatever it is that you decide to put your hands to, whatever it is that God has put on your heart for you to do, do not be intimidated by all the things that you see going around you. You don't have to be perfect, friend. You just have to start and keep going because practice makes perfect. Let me tell you about this week. Coming up to the final day where I had to submit for the podcast, nothing was together. I had looked at dozens upon dozens of tutorials and then it was trial and error. I would try to input it. Nothing on the computer went right. And I would just go back and start all over again. I would look at more tutorials and then I would try to do it. And I I can't even tell you how many times I had to delete shows and editing. And I said, some days I just walked away from it. I just had to walk away just to clear my head because I was so overwhelmed. Friend, if it was not for the fact that I would not be able to connect with you, I would have let it go. But I said, no, I have to talk with my friends. I want to be in touch with my friends. I want to share with my friends. And I want to let my friends know that if they hang in there, it will be all right. And how could I do that unless I did it? And guess what, friend? Ding, 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 ding. It finally happened. On the day that I actually pushed the submit button and it said that the podcast was ready to be uh, published, I was so excited. And then I had to find out how to put it on YouTube and the different social media engines. And that is another task. And I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up. I'm actually reading. I have two episodes of my book, Sister Jones, already on my YouTube page, my Cheryl Jones YouTube page, because of course I'm having trouble with my hanging with the boss lady YouTube page, but I'll get it. I will get it friend. So you know what? I wanted to share that with you to let you know that it can be done. Even if it seems like it's impossible don't walk away from it. Even if it seems like what you're doing is nothing compared to what somebody next door is doing, don't look at them. Look up, look to the hills from whence comes your help because there is room for all of us to do. There's room for me and there's room for you. We just have to persevere. Okay, my friend? If you are feeling right now overwhelmed, if you are feeling like I just want to scream and pull my hair out, guess what? A couple of days I did say, ah, I did. I didn't pull my hair. I like my hair. But I did feel overwhelmed. And there are times in life that you will feel overwhelmed, friend. But you know what? Stop for a minute. Take a deep breath. Tell the Lord about it. Pray about it. Don't walk away. Just give it a minute and then come back and do it again. Be persistent in doing something despite the difficulty. Well, that's all I wanted to share with you today. Thank you so much. Don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment. I love you with the love of God, and I'm going to let you get back to your day. And until we meet again, may the Lord God bless you real good. Boss Lady out.